Let us see the next question. You are required to answer that how to calculate standard deviation of a portfolio if investment is made into securities and one of them is highlight the portion risk-free security. That is a question. So here in the first question, the question says that suppose you have made investment into securities and one of them is risk-free security. So you have made investment in security X and risk-free security. Dear students, the term risk-free security stands for investment which is made in any government security or investment made in Reserve Bank of India bond or such kind of investment wherein there is no risk to the investor is called a risk-free security. So how to make the calculation of the standard deviation of such portfolio? Let us understand the same. Dear students, we understand that so the variance of the portfolio is equal to wx square sigma x square plus wrf square sigma rf square 2 into r between x and rf into wx wrf rf stands for risk free security sigma x and sigma rf that is the way we can compute the variance of the portfolio So now we understand that say sigma p square is equal to wx square sigma x square. Importantly, we understand that say as far as the standard deviation risk is concerned of risk free security will be zero. So we understand that over so here this value will be zero. Why? Because the like, standard deviation is zero and it is of course root of the variance and that would be zero. Again, this would be 0. So what will happen, friends, over here? This is 0 and this is also 0. Hence, standard deviation of the portfolio is equal to Wx into sigma x because variance of the portfolio is Wx square sigma x square. Now, what you can do? 4 raised to 1 by 2. So in that case, say you can have a standard deviation of such portfolio as weight of x into standard deviation x means whatever the proportion in which you have made investment in risky security accordingly you will be having say the standard deviation of the portfolio that is what say we understand so please write down this answer friends we understand that say as far as the risk free security is concerned its risk is zero its volatility is zero that is the reason say standard deviation of risk free security is 0 and anything which is multiplied with that that is say the 0 will become 0. That is the reason say this entire element is taken as 0. Standard deviation is 0 so of course the variance is also 0. So we have taken this element is also again 0. So write down a note for this. In order to compute standard deviation of a portfolio, consisting of Two securities, comma, one of them is RF, comma, can be found as under sigma p is equal to wx sigma x
it means taking into account proportion in which investment is made in security x and the risk of that security full stop second part of the question if investment is made in securities having highlight the portion perfect positive relationship so how to make the computation of the sigma p if at all investment is made in two securities which have correlation coefficient 1 that is a question sigma p square is equal to w x square sigma x square w y square sigma y square 2 into r w x w y sigma x sigma y this is what we understand now correlation coefficient between both of them is 1 so what will happen dear students sigma p square is equal to w x square sigma x square w y square sigma y square 2 into r is 1 so we can write it like this w x sigma x w y sigma y now dear students we already have understood that say a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square dear students i have not written r over here because r is 1 so anything multiplied with 1 will remain same value so i have not written r coming back to the point that a square plus 2ab plus b square that is the simplification of a plus b whole square so what i am writing over here i am writing it like this sigma p square is equal to wx sigma x plus wy sigma y whole raised to 2 this is what say we understand is the way we can have the simplification that is a square plus 2ab plus b square so you brought it back to a plus b whole square now this raise to 2 and this raise to 2 is cancelled so in that case the sigma p is equal to wx sigma x plus wy sigma y that is the way say we have the standard deviation of the portfolio to be calculated by using simple weighted average formula yes what i want to tell you friends is that when the correlation coefficient between the securities is perfect positive then in that case the way you compute the return of the portfolio similarly in that exceptional situation you can also compute the standard deviation of the portfolio as simple weighted average you have to take into account the weight of security x and standard deviation of security x weight of security y and standard deviation of security y and based on that say so you can make the computation of the standard deviation of the portfolio let us see next question an investor is considering making investment in either combination of x and y or in combination of a and b taking following information into account you are required to advise so information is given for an investor who is considering either investing in x or y or a or b so you are required to answer that say what he should do should he invest in x or y or say should he invest in x and y that is say a and b that is what sir the question is 
let us have understanding that say how to make the calculation of answer dear students over here importantly the information is given to us in such a way the return of x and return of a are same the return of y and return of b are same standard deviation of x standard deviation of a standard deviation of y and standard deviation of b means all other things are same there is only one difference and that is what we understand is the correlation coefficient so of course over here the question is basically say taking us to a direction wherein we have to understand that say taking into account the correlation coefficient we are required to answer that say in which combination we should make investment dear students we should make investment keeping all other things constant in a combination wherein correlation coefficient is less in that case what will happen if at all we make investment in securities which have lower correlation coefficient combination then in that case we will be able to get higher return for same risk or we understand that say we are required to take lower risk for same return that is the way i am sorry that is the reason so the investment should be made in the combination of a and b instead of x and y this is the way we are required to give answer So please write down answer. We can observe that investment in A and B have lower R. in comparison to x and y full stop all other things are same full stop hence investment should be made in combination of a and b instead of x and y the students from examination point of view the answer is over now i am just cross verifying that this statement is correct so this is only for understanding purpose assuming that two investors mr p and mr q make investment in combination of xy and ab respectively full stop investment is made in such a way so that rp return of the portfolio is 
in bracket I am writing we can take any other percentage also okay so now we understand that so let us assume that so there is an investor called Mr. P who makes investment in the combination of X and Y that is an another investor Q who is making investment in A and B now they are making investment in such a way so that so the return of the portfolio is 16 percentage what we will observe friends that Mr. Q who is making investment in securities which have lower correlation coefficient will have the lower standard deviation of his portfolio and this is what say, we are going to prove over here so heading right down calculation for Mr. P in that so the working is required to be made like this security x security y weight of proportion weight of x 1 minus weight of x return it is 20 percent of x and 10 percent of y weight on the return so 20 wx 10 minus 10 wx and with that so the return of the portfolio is supposed to be 16 percentage now weight of x will be found as balancing figure so 20 wx plus 10 minus 10 wx is equal to 16 so 20 minus 10 is 10 wx is equal to 16 minus 10 so weight of x is equal to 6 upon 10 6 upon 10 is 0 0.60 so the weight of security x is 60 percentage and of course the weight of security y would be balancing figure that is 40 percentage so now weight of y would be balancing figure weight of y is 1 minus weight of x 1 minus 0 0.60 that is 0 0.40 so this is the way the weights are calculated next is the standard deviation of the portfolio and for that so the variance of the portfolio is required to be found variance of the portfolio is wx square sigma x square wy square sigma y square 2 into r wx wy sigma x sigma y weight of x is 0.60 raised to 2 into variance of x that is square of 12 weight of y is 0 0.40 once again and uh, so the variance of y is square of 8 2 into r into 0.6 into 0.4 into 12 into 8 so square of 0.6 that is 0.36 into square of 12 that is 51.84 plus square of 8 into square of 0.4 that is 10.24 into 2 into 0.6 that is 0 0.3 0 0.3 into 0 0.4 0 0.12 so 0 0.12 into 12 into 8 that is 11.52 into r into 0 0.6 into 0 0.4 into 12 into 8 so that comes to 46.08 so 46.08 into r 
that is the way we will have the variance of the portfolio. Next, what will happen? It is 51.84 plus 10.24 plus 46.08 into R. R is what? 0.75. That comes to 34.56. This is the way we will have the variance of the portfolio 51.84 plus 34.56 plus 10.24 96.64. And finally, standard deviation of portfolio is under root of the variance. So it is under root of 96.64. That comes to 9.8306. That is the standard deviation of the portfolio for Mr. P. Now we are required to do similar working for Mr. Q. As far as Mr. Q is concerned, we understand that say, he is going to make investment in security A and B. So in that case, the same process is required to be followed. Calculation of the proportion. What will happen? Security A and security B. This is W A. This is 1 minus W A. The return of security A is 20 and this is 10. This is 20 W A. This is 10 minus 10 W A. Overall return of the portfolio is supposed to be 12 percentage. Accordingly, rate of A will be found as balancing figure. So what will happen? It is 20 WA plus 10 minus 10 WA is equal to 12. So 20 minus 10 that is 10 WA is equal to 12 minus 10. So weight of A is equal to 2 divided by 10. That comes to 0 0.20. That is the way weight of A will be found as balancing figure. It is 0.20. Oh, I am sorry. The return we have taken 16 percentage. This we have taken 16. So it is 0 0.60. So weight of A is supposed to be 0 0.60. So weight of B will be found as balancing figure. Weight of B is equal to 1 minus weight of A. 1 minus 0 0.60. That is 0 0.40. Now we understand that so the standard deviation of the portfolio is calculated as root of the variance of the portfolio. So variance of the portfolio will be found like this. W A square, sigma A square, W B square, sigma B square, 2 into R into W A sigma A, W B sigma B. Weight of A is 0 0.60, W B is 0 0.40. Sigma A is 12, Sigma B is 8, 2 into R into 0 0.6 into 0 0.4 into 12 into 8. So again we will have the working like this, 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 into 144 is 51.84. Square of 8 into square of 0 0.4. 
that is 10.24 plus 2 into r that is say uh, we skip r for the timing so 2 into 0.6 into 0.4 into 12 into 8 that is 46.08 into r so what will happen it is 51.84 plus 10.24 plus 46.08 into 0 0.25 So 51.84 plus 10.24 plus 46.08 into 0.25 that is 11.52. So the final answer is going to be 73.60. Now based on this will compute the standard deviation of the portfolio. As far as standard deviation of the portfolio is concerned, it is under root of the variance. So it is under root of 73.60 and the answer comes to 8.5790. So That is the way the risk of the portfolio can be calculated. Now friends, see all the calculations are over. What we understand, we understand that say two investors, Mr. P and Mr. Q, who have made investment in security XY, in security AB. The proportion or the weight in which the investment is made is 0 0.6 and 0 0.4. Again 0 0.6 and 0 0.4. With that, so the return of the portfolio is 16 percentage. Again 16 percentage. Standard deviation of the portfolio for Mr. Q it is 8.5790 percentage. And uh, so for Mr. P, we can see it is 9.8306 percentage. It is 9.8306 percentage. And the reason for that is very simple for you to understand now. It is because of the correlation coefficient. We can see that so the correlation coefficient for security X and Y is 0.75. And for A and B, it is 0.25. That is the reason so we can see that so the Mr. Q is having so the lower standard deviation for the same return. This is what so we can see. Over here, friends, everything is same. Sigma P square in that calculation, you can see that say this value is same for both of them 51.84. And you put it over here, say this, say 51.84. This is 10.24. And this is also over here, say this 10.24. There is no change in that once again. This 46.08 is also same in both the cases. The only thing which changes is the R correlation coefficient multiplier. Because of that, so the multiplier less, so the correlation coefficient effect is having the reduction of the risk of the portfolio, so without having any impact on the return of the portfolio. So Mr. Q is able to have the lower risk for the same return. I am just reading the answer that I have dictated to you, so now you will be able to better relate it. So if at all you make investment in combination of A and B, instead of x and y, you will be able to get the more return for the same risk or otherwise you have to take less risk for the same return and this is what is the cross verification that we have made. We can observe that say, the investment in a and b have lower correlation coefficient 
in comparison to x and y. All other things remaining same. Hence, so the investment should be made in combination of a and b instead of say x and y. This is what we understand.